Go ahead, Scott. Hey, Jalen, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Can't complain. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, um, I know last year you got to play a lot. Uh, I know you talked about maybe being thrown into the fire on that. W what have you been able to take away going into your first uh, spring here? And, and what's it been like kind of having that experience and then going into the next spring? Uh, coming in, I learned a lot. Um, coming in from a high school player, getting thrown into the fire, like you said, uh, being able to play my first college game, starting against Baylor, um, learning a lot about the defenses and what they do when they bring in pressure, a lot of defensive keys, of course, and then just learning how to be a leader, especially from people like MK, uh, Miles Fallon, and the older guys just uh, all pushing each other and teaching me how to become a better leader. What's changed uh, now that you have a new offensive coordinator? Not much, to be honest. Like, we're all we're all – uh, communicating with each other, um, some of the same same concepts. It's just the receiving core and the quarterback groom are all keeping together, and the running backs are keeping together. So we all have a lot of the same same stuff from last year. When we were able to talk to Coach DeBoard, he said a goal of his offense is to make things easy on you guys, to let you go through a progression and figure it out. How have you seen that on the field? And I guess does his offense make things easy on the quarterback? Most definitely. I mean, he he sat there and laid it all out for us as, as the quarterback room. Uh, progression, he, he puts a big emphasis on progression, and he laid it out there for us to just go on the field and make easy reads and just pick up blitzes and everything. And then last thing for me, what's one area that you think your game has taken a step forward, maybe from the end of last season or even during last season to where you are right now? My comfortability and my decision-making. That's That has been a big improvement since last season. Uh, being a freshman, like I said last time, I, I was always scared about making the mistake because I was a freshman. Uh, now that I'm more decisive, I can see it in practice and I see things, rotation and everything in the defense easier. Thanks. We'll go next to Benton Smith. Hey, Jalen, you, you mentioned uh, it hasn't been too tough of a transition with Mike DeBoard's offense, but I was just curious, how would you kind of describe um, what the offense looks like when you guys are kind of going through the install and that type of thing? I mean, we got a group of hardworking guys, a lot of new people coming in, just coming in, ready to work every single day. Uh, like, like I said, it's progression offense, but it's, it's more new terminology, NFL terminology that we just all have to get down. So is that maybe one of the bigger adjustments is just kind of getting the terminology after you've been used to maybe some different terms or? Most definitely. Hey, um, how, how are the reps being handled in practice? Obviously, you guys have quite a number of quarterbacks uh, that the coaches need to take a look at. Uh, we're all switching every single day of practice, switching uh, ones with the twos, with the threes. It doesn't matter. We're all going to get the same amount of reps, and we're all just going to keep on working every day. So you've been able to take some first string reps, and others have too? Is that what you uh, Most definitely, yes. It, it seems like this quarterback competition may last, you know, even into August, is that your expectation for it? Hey, whatever happens, happens. It's in the coach's decision, and I trust them to make the right decision. It doesn't matter who becomes QB number one. We're all going to push each other as if we're QB number one. How important is spring for that that competition? Uh, spring ball, this is my first spring ball, so uh, it's being a, a lot's being thrown at me, especially since we have a new offense. But it doesn't matter. It's, I feel like it's the same as fall camp. All the quarterbacks are pushing each other, each other just like how Thomas McVitty and Miles Fallon and Miles Kendrick did last season. Go next to John Kirby. Go next to John Kirby. Go ahead, John. Hey, Jalen, how you doing? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Doing well, thank you. Hey, I got to ask you, you know, it's kind of been put to us that you basically have two quarterback coaches with Partridge and DeBoard. What's that like? Uh, Coach TP, uh, my first offer was from Tennessee Martin, and he was the offensive coordinator there. So I have a great connection with TP ever since I got here. Coach DeBoard is a character. He's, he, he's a nice guy, funny guy, uh, and just is very football smart. Uh, when we make him the mistake, he's going to correct us. But when we're, when we're doing right, he's going to cheer us on. Hey, Jalen, how are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Doing well, thanks. So good. Just wanted to ask about the receivers uh, that you've been able to throw to over the last few practices. Any anyone particular stood out so far? Uh, all the receivers are working hard today. Uh, this whole entire spring ball uh, today, 
Kevin Terry, uh, transfer from Texas Tech. I was able to throw him a touchdown today. So he, he's been working hard, coming in, learning a new offense just like everybody else. And Malik Johnson has, has took a big step up, of course. And the receivers returning from last year, Stephen McBride, Tristan Golightly, Lawrence Arnold. Uh, we're all just working. Quentin Skinner, of course, too, as well. You guys feel maybe more connected with your receivers than you did last year or just more in sync? Yes. We'll go next to Maya. Go ahead, Maya. Hey, Jalen. Um, I wanted to ask you on from last year, your freshman season up to this year, having a new roster, new freshmen coming in. Uh, where does this team stand compared to last year? Strengths and weaknesses and maybe a couple of goals that this team has set. Uh, like Deuce said, the intensity is high, especially with Coach Jones at the head of the realm right now. He's making sure that we're coming in every single day, no matter what situation it is, we're just going to keep on attacking it every single day. Matt Galloway. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Jalen, when you, when you look at, you know, what you're experiencing this spring and what you jumped into last year, does it kind of amaze you that you were able to do what you were able to do last year, just jumping right in without a spring? Um, yes, most definitely. Uh, I, like I said, I just got here from high school, graduated in June and got here in, in June as well. So uh, before the season, it was a lot of work I had to put in, but they felt that they could trust me as QB, uh, as a starting quarterback against Baylor. So I feel like I'm able to take that experience and carry it on to the spring. And what was the biggest challenge about that year? <laughs> how big they are, uh, how fast, how fast all of the D-line are moving, mo moving as fast as me, but way bigger. Uh, literally just the tempo and the pace of the game is way faster than high school. And you mentioned your, your relationship with Coach Partridge. Is that um, something that's giving you more confidence? Is that kind of a, a little bit of a, uh, you know, just knowing him from your past and that relationship, is that something that's kind of helping this whole process move along for you? Uh, Coach TP always makes sure I keep my head up. He knows what I can do and what all of the rest of the quarterbacks can do. So it doesn't matter what the situation is. He's going to keep all of our heads up. And yeah. Hey, just wanted to ask about some of the young guys uh, in the quarterback room that obviously we haven't yet gotten the chance to see, but you have. Uh, what do you think about Ben and Conrad? What have they shown you uh, individually? What do you like about them? Uh, ben and Conrad, they came in as strong leaders. Always, I've learned a lot from Conrad and Ben, even though they're younger than me, they're always pushing me literally every single day to be the best quarterback that I can be. I feel like they came in and adjusted to the college life uh, in the quarterback room perfectly, to be honest. For those guys, I mean, recruited under a different offensive coordinator, you were recruited under a, a different offensive coordinator. Is that something you've been maybe able to bond, talk each other through, help each other with? And if so, how have you guys kind of helped each other adjust? I mean, we're all learning the same offense. We're all going through the same struggles. Uh, the same struggles puts us in the same category with each other to help each other get better in that particular event. Yeah. And then last thing for me, uh, we've seen your arm. We've seen how far you can throw it. If you had to guess right now, how far do you think you can throw a football? Uh, about 80 to 85. Do you test that? Yes. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you tested it? Mm, about two months ago. Nice. nice. Thanks. Ben, ben Smith. Hey, Jalen, uh, Chris Hughes told us the, the new AD was able to speak to you guys. Uh, can you tell us maybe just – what was his message to the team? Uh, his message to the team was basically saying that he's here for us. Uh, he's going to make the best decision for our program that he feels is the strong, the strong uh, improvement for us. Did, did you guys get a sense of, you know, whether Emmett Jones is going to remain in charge for the rest of the spring or if any transition might occur or anything like that? We weren't given any type of information like that. What was your biggest takeaway from the, the discussion with the new AD? He's here for us. I mean, he wants he wants us to voice our opinion to him for him to make the best decision for us as a team. Thanks, Jalen. Of course. All right, thanks, thanks, everybody. Thank you.